looks like I am alive. I'll wait till people get in. Oh, someone already in? Hello, <laughs> focus on the pain, the only thing is real. If you have any questions, just type them there in the comment. The needle tears a hole. start questions I don't have I mean I have a few topics but I'll get into that um, either either or just warming up here just playing a little long you know just playing I haven't got to play very much Was everybody, um, well, we got seven views. Okay, we'll wait till we get to 10 viewers and I will uh, start my talking or interviewing or whatever you want to do. Kitty grabs by the wrist. All right, let's see here. He's almost talking about South Park. Am I swearing? It's who I am. If you don't like it, you can close, you can hit the X button. <laughs> Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Joe. I see you're playing. We lost a viewer. We can't get to ten. Can't get to ten views. Come on now. It's only been five minutes. Because everybody keeps saying that they're missing this live session, so 
Um, if you have a question, don't be shy. You can uh, comment something other than what is not related to this channel. Um, Dante, what's up, man? I love how people comment things that has no relation to the channel. Makes no sense. I don't know what the hell you talk about South Park for, but nine viewers close enough. Let's do this. All right. Let me put the guitar up. Fix the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I got some uh, comments. I got some comments here. Oh, that's uh, my video games loading up. Here we go. Probably should turn off my ringer as well. <sighs> All right. So, um, I got to remember where the hell my notes are here. Cause I got a got my phone here. So I get a lot of questions. A lot. Uh, the topic is basically me talking. If you have any questions. Type them. I get a lot of questions. Um, what did I not write them down? I may not have, but I get a lot of questions like, "How do you spoil your dom?" Well, how do you spoil your your partner in general? It don't matter if if they're um, BDSM style dynamic. It's just you should know your partner by now and how to spoil them. Uh, but if you're talking about <clears throat> a submissive and dominant relationship, you should stay submissive. That's the best gift a dom can have. So, yeah. How old am I? I am 40. Right? You're recently single. We might be getting in the wrong type of relationships. Is this too much light? I could I could calm this light down. Is that better? Is that better like on the lighting situation? So I was looking like Jesus, I guess. Um recently single. Well, I could I could I could turn it up a little bit, I could lower it. What do you think? I don't know. Oh, someone has a question. I'm going to read this off. See, look, turn that light down. See that? All right. As a little, how can I break up with a partner who just don't get it and is more of a master than a daddy than what I need? Well, there's a lot of guys out there that claim they're a daddy. There's a lot of people out there that think a daddy and a master is the same thing. Well, I'll tell you what, it's not. So, do they have the same qualities? No, maybe a little bit. It depends on the master, you know. That takes a huge gift and a lot of time to be with someone that is willing to be a slave. Um, but on the other hand, you know, not all masters need a slave, it's just who they are. Um, it's going to be a type of dynamic you're going to have. As a daddy dominant, you're going to have a type of uh, dynamic. Not all daddies have to be with an age regressor. So how the hell do you break up? You just tell them. It ain't working. That's it. Um, don't mind what he says. Um, <laughs> oh, I was just saying, can you be a daddy and a master at the same time? It's a different dynamic. It, Okay, so the qualities you're talking about, like let's say different aspects of a daddy um, being affectionate. Yeah, a master would be affectionate, all right, but not the same way as a daddy. Um, verbal is going to be different. It's like it's going to be there, but it's just going to be different, if you know what I mean. You try to, but you can't break up with them. Well, some people are uh, schizo uh, psycho. I mean, it takes a while, but you can get through it. Just, you know, keep ignoring them, basically. And I mean, as long as you, if you live with them, find another place to go, you know. 
So um, I know there's more questions. Jesus. I get them all the time. Um, I, again, I wasn't prepared for this. I just wanted to do it because I have time and why not, right? Well, Amber over here, you could be a daddy and a master at the same time. You mean the dynamic? Or are you talking about as a man and the same characteristics? Because I'm going to tell you, whatever some people have, is there a dynamic? Not all relationships are going to be the same. I don't care if it's BDSM or just basic bitch, 50-50, never, you've had two relationships, unexperienced, it, it, it's going to be the same in your dynamic. Whatever they think is right, whatever they feel like it should be or shouldn't be, is going to become dynamic. A, a daddy and a master is two different people. And if you want to say they're the same, then that's your opinion. Just like what I say is my opinion. Well, you can write notes. You can get online and read everything like other people do. I didn't read everything because it's my experience and my opinion. How it how it's been in my life, my situation. This is this is a a Jerry life experience, not Reddit. I've never been on Reddit. I never, well, I tried the Tumblr thing, but it's just merely porn. Um, I basically read the dynamics of who I am as a daddy dom, and I said, shit, that is me. And, um, which I was like, hell yeah, I don't feel weird anymore. So that, you know, because I was feeling like I was like too weird. Thank you for the beard comment. Um, so it's kind of like in my life, my opinion, I hope everybody understands that. This is not coming from a internet savvy fucking thread BDSM reading son of a bitch. Because that's not me. I did not read into it. I didn't come into this world by reading things and goes, oh, that, I could pro, I like that dynamic and I want to try it. No, I became it. First long-term relationship I had, I became it. Okay, not because she wanted me to. It's because we brought who we are into our relationship and I grew into it because that's who I am. I am a natural dom. These other guys that get with littles or married or whatever, they read the internet and they try to become something they're not. And they will never be that because they're not naturally who they are. You can't turn a submissive into a daddy dominant. Sorry, you can't. He can, he can portray the acts of, but he will never be it. So there's a difference in my opinion in my life. So that being out of the way, thank you. Um, how many DL, DDL relationships you've been in? I have been in four, yes. Um, first one when I was 22 or 23, yeah. And um, she was just a little, she was a middle. Um, and then I, um, let me think, God, it's four, it's four. Of, uh, I know a little. Okay, so uh, I'll just call her Savage. Um, like I know, uh, I'm a little, but I kind of want to get in the pet play as well. Any advice? If you want to get in pet play, there's, in my opinion, people. Uh, the camera's moving because I'm bouncing my legs. I'm nervous. Sorry. Oh, stay off the table. Um, there's two kinds of pet plays. You think it's cute to dress up with little kitty ears on? That's fine. It's called role playing. If you're actually going to be into pet play, you really need to um, get that experience to see how how much that dynamic is going to be a little different with someone in a relationship. Um, you know, you could be cute all you want and consider yourself as a kitten, but a real pet play relationship is a little different but i mean you could be cute all you want 
Um, make up is a raise hand. Um, it bounces. I have a question. Go for it. Oh, call me. oh, okay. You added me on Snapchat. All right. To the savage. What's your favorite bedtime story to read? Uh, yeah, that actually started from my first um, when I was 23. When I when I was with my first little, I made this this uh, story up, and I still say it today. Um, so basically, you uh, I don't. It's something about a turtle and a rabbit, and um, and, I, and it's about a turtle walking along, and he's going to the creek. And well, because she she would consider herself as a bunny, and I mean that's where the turtle thing came from with me. Hmm, it's a good question. I don't know. I've always identified as it. So, uh, I guess a turtle identifying my power animal because um, he has the hard shell and he protects himself, and when he's scared, he hides. And um, and he's a little slow at moving with things in general. I guess relationship or life and all that but that's who i used to be though so my shell's gotten pretty hard so i'm okay now um i walk with a mean little strut you know so you know how little turtles do it all right whatever so anyway the turtle was walking to uh the creek one day and and a rabbit was um going the same way and a rabbit came up behind him and i'm not saying it as i would normally say it but um about rabbit you know asking the turtle a question but by the time the turtle got the answer to the question the rabbit was already ahead and didn't hear him so he turned around he stopped and he waited a little bit but he noticed the turtle was a little slow so he came back to him and um you know was trying to talk to the turtle and he just uh he was like you know where are you going i'm going to the creek goes with me too um we could walk together and the rabbit tries to you know walk with him again but a little too fast so he stopped and waited and he just basically got on the back of a shell and was like, you know, well, I have to go at your speed. So, um, and, you know, and they, and they, and they made a friendship. Uh, they had to work with each other. So it was like a moral of the story kind of a thing. I don't know. I just made it up one day and I've never forgotten it, which is weird. Um, people were talking, um, uh, tater tot says find a group of pet players and trainers. Yeah. That's that's a good one. How the hell would you though? This would be the next question. Um, Savage is my favorite is Cinderella, the princess and the frog. Well, I mean, if, if you feel like you're the princess or the frog, or you just want to be kissed, I, I don't know. Uh, make up the but the inside of the turtle is squishy. I am squishy, but I, I'm still lovable though. Uh, <laughs> life with a nerd. I oh. Caitlin. Oh, you just uh, added me too, didn't you? Snow White is my favorite. And the turtles are inside squishy. Oh, my God. You all talk about squishiness. I'm squishy, okay? See? There you go. All right. Um, Kayla says, how do you tell someone you're an L DDLG? You, you, you uh, well, you tell them. Without being shy, and when they're like, I don't get it, you, you want to be like a two year old? Okay, so here's the, here's the thing about it you just tell them. If somebody you're with, depending on, you know, if you guys are an adult relationship, it's a little different. Um, some, some guys will like the idea of being called daddy because they watch too much porn. Um, they think that's a turn on, which is actually a gift. So depending on the type of relationship you have, um, if you don't need that daddy dom dynamic right now because you're a little bit younger, you just want the attention because your family don't give it to you basically, or you know, your dad was never around or something, something to do with something, but it don't have to be sexually. Uh, just, just tell them that you need you need this, but more of what you are and um, how you are. And if they judge you for it, then they're not the person for you, basically. If they, if they say, why are you act like a child? They don't understand. Um, they just don't get it, basically. Probably should end that. So, um, 
I like the turtle. He's my new fave. See? Turtle. I'll slowly ease them in the DDOG. Yes. Tell them to read things. But not the porn stuff. There's like two different... If you get online, and I noticed it, that's why I hate reading. That's why some people want to call me out on my knowledge. Um, it's not internet knowledge. That's a thing. I'm not book savvy. It's called experience, and it's my opinion, which opinion means my opinion on what I'm talking about, meaning I'm not saying it is uh, book smart or is correct or not. My opinion, my experience. But um, I don't even know what I was going to say about it. But, yeah, you just got to... Just, uh, you know, tell them to read. Oh, there's two different kind of articles. One would be, um, I have a really good one, actually. I don't know if I can share it. Um, I can try. Here, let me try to share this uh, topic. This is a really good one, too. Let's see if, uh, okay, cool. It's called The Seven Fundamentals. It's a really good one. Um, that I read somebody had. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake? Hey, fat cat. I am 25 and just started a sexual relationship. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. With someone who is a LG... I feel I make a good caregiver, same, but I like to be silly with my little about our DDLG isn't sexual. Okay, wait. Wait, you just, wait. You, wait, you said you wasn't sexual, but you are. Wait. Okay, hold on. Because it says, uh, oh, started a sexual relationship with someone about our DDLG isn't sexual. You mean the pretend of, like, hmm, you gotta, you gotta explain yourself a little bit about that one. Um, how can it be a better, how can I be a better? Well, being at 25, well, I was 23. The best thing you can do is have patience. Um, be understanding and, um, there's three things you need to be with a little is, um, yeah, you confuse little turtle kitty. You have to, you have to, okay, so when it comes to littles, I mean, in my opinion, uh, most have anxiety, most have depression, um, most have severe something, anti-socialism something, right? So basically, to be a better one, you would have to have patience with them and always like let them know you're there by touching them, like holding their hand or put your hand on their shoulder, something. So, and it gives them a like a safety net, like uh, they feel protected and it's okay. You know, just let them know it's okay. Tell them constantly in a way that you're there and, um, you know, breathe. I don't, I don't know. Um, you have to be there emotionally and mentally and physically. Well, physically meaning attention uh, or affection. That's what I mean. Okay. Um, are you sexual when she's not in a little mood? Oh, mode. Oh. Oh, is that what he was saying? Because I was kind of thinking that, but I wasn't for sure. So he's sexual with someone, but not during the... Well, okay, here's the difference. Some people think that, well, most people think that if you're with an age regressor, she is still the age regressing when you're having sex. I have never experienced that. Never. Um, the four I have dated never was still in their age regression. You get a phone call, but it's okay. Um, they would never been in their like little stage. You know, okay, you no, know, I was with like a baby girl. I think she was three or four or something like that, but she never stayed in it. So I don't understand what people are talking about. Okay, so when when they age regress and go in little space, it is a different platform than when they're you know out to work or 
you know, hanging out with their parents. You know, they're not like this all the time, only in certain situations or when they know they can, but then sexual, just stop thinking that it's that way. You know, just think that you're with the age aggressor, but you're, you're being sexual with your partner. That's it. Your partner. It ain't about what little age she's at. You're just thinking, you know, she's a fucking adult and this is your partner. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, Jake says, I started a sexual relationship with someone who was a little, they introduced me to it. Oh, we don't really take the little side in the bedroom. See? Yeah, it's fine. You don't, you, I mean, the, the, the play, the play time is a different time and sex time is a different time. Work time is a different setting and then being with their parents, a different setting. And people don't think, like, people don't understand that littles are not, they think they're like this all the time. They're not. So I don't, and, and, and men find it, like, weird. Like, I don't want to feel like I'm having sex with a four-year-old. Well, stop thinking that because obviously her age is whatever, you know, 19, 20. Stop thinking that. It's not like that. She's, you know, if she is trying to be cute with you, she's being cute. So when we're all naked, we're naked, and that's our vulnerable time, so it's fine. Um, have I ever been with a diaper player? No. Never have. Like I said, I, I thought it was weird at first when I um, was trying to get into all the, the – before, okay, so when I stopped doing my vlogs, and I'm only doing live stuff right now, so basically, I was trying to learn more things, and because um, I plateaued, because all I was talking about was DDLG, and people was curious about other things that can be in the DDLG, uh, well, being with a daddy, because a lot of girls like that idea of a daddy, okay, so so when you're talking about, you got you got, you know, like, like if you say aspect of three different doms, you got your just regular dominant and you have a, you know, a daddy and a master. Well, most, most would like that, that dynamic of an affectionate, attentive male that will be there for them in emotional state, in a physical state. They just, they like that, that, that guidance, that structure that we feel like we want to give them. Um, help them be independent, help them be, you know, a better person. Would I date anybody that's in a diaper play? I don't know. I'm, I, I'm not opposed from it. So, uh -huh, a caregiver. Exactly. That's what I started out as. And, and I mean, in my opinion, that's how you, that's your building block. If a male can be a caregiver, you know, that's like the, the building blocks of, of uh, the dom, the, the daddy side of things. <clears throat> well, being asexual, I, I man, I kind of remember what that means. But the all I, it's, I try to learn all of them. Some of them are confusing to me. So basically, if I'm right without Googling it, asexual basically means you're not attractive to anyone in a, in a sense, right? Something like that. Um, or they have to be smart or something to do with, I don't know, I've read so many of them. It's so hard to remember. What's my favorite thing to do as a daddy with my little or my girlfriend or whatever, right? Because, you know, I don't always get with littles, you know. Um, oh, I was right, Dante? Cool. What's my favorite thing to do? Um, I, I mean, whatever she's into, really, I mean. Uh, we're talking about just playtime. 
I mean, I'm I'm the good daddy where if we go out to eat and uh, they have crayons and a little coloring package, you know, I usually grab them for her if she's in a mood because not, you know, because some not, you know, age regressing and being a little, you know, they're not always in the mood. Um, you know, if they had like a stressful day or whatever, but just in case, I always make sure that um, she has her little crayon and uh, the little coloring thing, like you get at a restaurant or something, but. I'm um, honestly just, I'm okay with just, you know, watching her favorite cartoon or whatever. Um, I mean, I, I like brushing hair and all that stuff. So whatever I can, you know, spoil, I like to spoil. BTV, what is your opinion on Daddy Dom versus Slave Daddy? Of you have one? What do you, What does that mean? A daddy dominus, you mean a master? Oh, I've already made my opinion on it. Um, one is more strict. I mean, <laughs> you know, I it, it's it's in my opinion. I I don't know. I've never really hung out with a master dom. I never really have. So it would just be my, you know, assuming. I I don't know. I really don't know. I wish I could answer that. One day, I'm going to hang out with a master and we'll see. But, I mean, the only master I have going around, he was a daddy. So, I can't make that a session, you know. It depends on the guy's age, too. Um, you can't be a master until you're a daddy because you're mastering the – okay, never mind. Okay, um, Savage says it means you're not sexually attracted to anyone. Right. So, haha, I was right. Cool. Um, I think littles are very, uh, wait, very that they can pet like bratty littles are broad spectrum. Well, right. Littles are just, yeah. When you, when you say little, it's just like in that category of age regressors. It's just a generic term. Um, life with the nurse is how much of a difference does it take, uh, make for you if your partner isn't a little different. Does it make? Oh no, I I don't I don't have to be with the age regressor. I don't, you know, when I try to tell girls that are not um, littles, I say I don't need to be called daddy. If you feel like you want to call me that, call to me in certain times that I feel, you know, um, like a gift. It's I don't need to be called that. I don't care. It's I don't care. I mean, it, it's cool, but I don't need it. Um, honestly, calling me sir is much more sexy to me because uh, it gives us uh, an establishment of res uh, respect and uh, dominance. Um, <clears throat> Cyrus says, how long have you been together? With who? Next. BTV, um, little as middles as well. Yeah, uh, like I said, the little is a generic broad spectrum, just age regressors. That's basically it. If you have an opinion, bratty girls don't know if I want a slave daddy or a dom. Bratty girls don't know. They just want attention, basically. Uh, makeup, uh, makeup Lover says, people think caregivers do not. What's the word not punish, but you know how to keep in line with their little? Can you give an example of punishment? Because I'm sure people think it's all whips and crap. Oh no, <laughs> as a little, the worst punishment is basically ignoring them. That's it, that's the worst punishment you can give and I've done that, unfortunately. And it fucked a lot of things up and um, I learned a lot. So the worst punishment is not getting beat. It's pushing her away and not speaking to her, not giving the attention that she was once getting. That is the worst, the worst. Um, and that's horrible. Um, basic, uh, punishments would be, I'm not that well with punishments. <clears throat> uh, giving punishments would be just like, you know, it depends if she's an age regressor. If she's not an age regressor, it'd be a different kind of punishment. I mean, you know, it's, it's called establishing, um, prime. Uh, dominance in the relationship, you know, if I take away her phone, is she gonna allow that? Probably not. 
especially not a female that likes to sit and look at Facebook all goddamn day like she's missing something. So that would be a tough one. Um, I guess it would have to be like a time limit on, on that. You know, like if you just snatch it, say go to sleep, you'll have it when you wake up. I guess that's a different story. Um, I'm just, I'm not really a punishing kind of a guy. I'm not. All right. Makeup lovers, people think caregivers do not. What's the word not punish, but you know, wait, did I already read that? Oh yeah, yeah, I did, didn't I? Um, Ella says, how are you doing? Ella Rose, she is a YouTuber. I have to add her. She, she's a, she's a, she my, she my YouTuber crush. Um, Savage says, um, what? Well, you should, she thought you were referring to someone. Maybe, I don't know. Make it over too true and annoys my life, okay? Jake says, I've never done the ignoring. Uh, I put on Jurassic World instead of Tangled. Oh. You probably want to put on, um, I forget what it's called. Some, something like an action movie or like, um, I don't know, old, old like Western. Um, Amber Lynn, doing lines are also the worst. Doing lines? Oh, I, you know, I've never done that one. I probably, you know what, maybe I have done that one. Huh. I think maybe my first, my first relationship. Uh, Ed a little. Um, Savage says, I hate Facebook. Yeah, I don't care for it either. VTV, that a good punishment. Phone restrictions. Yeah, it is. Um, I actually, I actually, uh, 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 mentored my nephew into being a daddy because he really liked because uh, he because he realized that's how he is with his uh, significant other and he got with a little brat and um, he had to learn punishment a lot and that was one of his he, he told me he's been learning a lot um, just the way he is um, um Mm -hmm, Dante, gotta roll that Facebook. I hate people who do that. Okay. Ella Rose, YouTuber crush. Hey, in my new Snapchat. Well, I don't, you gotta have to, okay, fine. I'll add you now. So, um, what else are we going here? Gotta add friends. Oh, yeah. You got a new one and didn't even tell me? Come on. All right, I added you. All right, uh, Catlin says, writing lines is the worst thing in the world other than being ignored. I hate being ignored. Yeah, being ignored would be the worst. And I, like I say, I've done it. BTB, Brat is honestly so different, difficult for a first sub. It takes so much patience. My God, does it. Yes, um, a full-on brat is definitely something I don't ever want to try again. Um, you know, and it's hard to say, uh, you know, like some people, well, some females um, would say something like, you know, if I even remotely think they're bratty, I'll probably just cut it off. Oh no, BB's back. I'm gonna have to block him. I don't even know what he's talking about. Let's go ahead and block. Okay, uh, VTV is about body language. It's, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, basically. Ella, thanks. Also, can we possibly see some videos of your daddy space with your little? I don't have a little. I'm not dating anybody. I'm single, but that's okay. Um, I had to write 200 lines once. Uh oh! And every two 20 lines, I had to switch colors. Well, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's a good punishment. And I got some candy, little girl. <laughs> oh, you don't like those? It's okay. 
I got other things. I'm just kidding. Uh, whatever happened to the little on a motorbike? Oh, um, she wasn't a little. Like I said, not every female I date is a little. I mean, they're not age regressors. Not all of them are. Yep. She she was in here somewhere. She was typing. So I, I was wanting to get her on here and uh, talk with me uh, because she has a different opinion. She's really good opinions. And she knows her stuff too. We're, she's in a community and um, she, she knows her shit as well. Maybe not about the DDLG lifestyle, but everything else she knows a bit better than me because um, she uh, she uh, got the experience. You know what I mean? Because she's a female. She got the experience. Dante, single, stay intoxicated, 90, get laid every day. Okay. Oh, there she is again right there. Speak of the uh, devil and Prada. My little is here now. Hello, Piddle. Who's Piddle? Yeah. Mine was called Tater Tot. It's cute. I'm smoking a lot. I'm nervous. Ella says, oh, well, I find that odd. I don't think I could date someone who isn't into DDLG. Well, that is a good question, a good statement. But I can't be with someone that can't appreciate my daddy's side. You know, you know, the, the ones that says, don't tell me what to do. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he knows. Wait, what? I'm so confused. So Jake and Ella is together? Hmm. Okay. Catelyn, can you recognize Little's? Yes, I can. I seen one today. Okay. So that is a good question. As a daddy, you girls, you little age regressors, are so fucking easy to figure out. Now, Tater Tot likes to tell me stop doing that, but they just don't know who they are yet. That's the difference. So I was in the gas station today, and um, I uh, there was okay. So I was getting out of my car, and she was getting out of her car. And it was a car between us, and we was walking real slow, just staring at each other. She could tell. She could tell who I am, and I could tell who she is. You know, rainbow bright ass hair colors, right? And I'm thinking, yeah. So we go in, and she keeps staring at. I, we keep staring at each other, and I'm like, she's either she looks familiar, or it's just because she's. A, I could just tell she's a little. So we go in, and I said, fuck it. I ran around because she was about to cash out. I was there for the owner because I was doing business. So uh, I ran around the, the counter. She was she was cashing out, and I was like, I really like your hair. And she goes, really? Most guys don't ever say that. And I said, I'm not most guys. So uh, she was like, oh, that's, uh, I, you know, that's awesome, yeah. And, you know, just kind of like all being, you know, shy and cute and stuff. And um, and I started noticing her nails. And she mentioned her something about her nails. I'm like, yeah, those are cute, too. And um, which they really weren't. They were like the, like, really long, sharp one that looked like just like stab your eyes out kind of weird shit. But whatever. The sparklies were cool, though. And I noticed her shoes. She had like little cats on it. Like, like cat faces and like little like. They look like kid shoes, basically. And this chick had to be at least old or like 30s, okay? So, you know, um, I, I was I was thinking about saying something like, hey, you know, you got a number, whatever, you want, you want my number. But she kept staring at me on the way out. She sat in her car for a while, like, 
like she thought about saying something and i was just i just walked by i was like right but i didn't i didn't i didn't say no i i don't know it's fine i like to flirt and i don't really exchange numbers i'm not that guy for some reason i don't know so should i relish with the hair thing um should have realized well yeah yeah and like just like if you have disney tattoos like hello little mermaid or some shit like i can tell like come on now um tanovic says i know plenty of people who have little qualities who aren't littles and they don't want to be i'm from la there's plenty of people who love disney and fairy books and have colored hair too see i told you she was going to say something no not all people that like to color their hair are littles i know this but if they have little kid shoes and they have coloring fucking crayons in their back pocket and and, and you know this bitch is like 28 she's a little okay and she's got like if she's got like you know you could like like you look in their car you can see like what's hanging from their rearview mirror and whatever but there was a time that i talked to a girl that i thought she was a little and she was so weirded out about it she wouldn't talk to me again okay that's happened a few times well whatever um, I have no interest in age play. They just like what they like. It could be even life uh, a style preference. Yes, it can be. Sagging your pants below your ass cheeks can be a style preference too. Doesn't mean they're gay. Just means they like their ass showing in a gangster fashion. They are stiletto nails. Yes, they were under the sea. Yeah, if they have like an under the sea thing going on in their car and they're listening to fucking quack quack songs on the radio and you could like hear this shit, they're probably a little. I'm just saying that. A little is a mental state. It's a need to be mentally a different age and other stuff of things a little like. Yeah. It's called age regression. It's a mental thing. Sub little little space, subspace, daddy space, space in general, space in the sky, kitty space. My kitty space. And that's how we do it around here. With the cats. Meow. We've been on an hour yet. What what what, what, what time going on? If I don't want to, don't want to uh, annoy you guys too long. I don't even know how long we've been going for. Beep, 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 beep. Jake and Jake. Oh, so Jake is your new daddy. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Well, that's good. Had a really bad breakup, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that guy that fell in your videos, yeah. Oh, I was wondering where you've been. Savage says, we noticed. Oh, I'm so sorry, yeah. Oh, so some people know who Ella is. All right. Dante, about 49 minutes. Cool, thanks, bro. Uh, Savage, I hope you are doing so much better. Who, me? Or her? Oh, her. Yeah, she's she's fine. Trust me, she's getting well taken care of. I mean, in ways. All right. What is the next question here? Tater time. Put a little bit of sprinkle of salt on your face. Yeah, I'm glad you found Jake from State Farm. Okay, back to business. All right. So, uh, 
Come on, Ella, ask me a question. Yeah, salt on your face. Is that calm? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so bad. I'm a bad daddy. That's what I am. Makes you want to smoke cigarettes, don't it? Okay, everybody's talking to everybody but me now. Have you ever tried anything other than being a daddy? Yes, I've been with basic bitches. I have. It don't work out too well. But, um, yeah, I, yeah. Because I've only been with uh, four littles. I've been in multiple relationships. Because, I don't know, I'm not scared to try, I guess. I'm not. Like, if I'm feeling it and they're feeling me, fuck it, let's try. You know, if it don't work, it don't work. You know, there's always that possibility. Um, now, when you talk about being with someone for years and you talk about marriage, there's still that possibility, but at least you know that your relationship is stable. But it changes when you get married, so. Oh, we're talking? Here we go. Finally made a live stream. Skill of the Deeds, another YouTuber I crush on. You have to have to sub her as well. Um, what is your favorite sex position? Not DDLG related. Is there a such thing as a DDLG sex position? What is that? Because um, if there is, let me know. I would think that position would be on camera, wouldn't it? Just flexing. Oh, did you see that? Um, I like missionary. And some people go, why the hell would you like missionary? I don't know. Um, no, I do know, actually. And here it goes. Missionary for me is because I like to uh, kiss. And um, I favor uh, being on top so I can choke the shit out of somebody. Um, and I like to slap. So, you know, being on top and I'm just like looking down because I like to like see her face. Like that and the whole looking in my soul thing just it drives me crazy. So like the way they look at me, like enjoyment, like and so, like if I can see the love on their face, you know, it just it, it just it just I go nuts over it and slapping the shit out of them. It's fun. I like that. So, and I can still pull hair too. It's great. So it's like so many options. I, I like the lights on. Like I want to see your soul. I want to. I want to. I want you to see like how I am. Just you know. So that's that's kind of. <laughs> uh, tell them about your experience with your non-little being about a dom. Tell them about my experience with non-little. Well, some, okay, so half the girls, okay, so if I get with a non-little, a non-age regressor, non-BDSM, basic bitch, basically, um, there's two kinds of girls, okay? So one of them well, is really interested in it and like the dynamic of it, but she can't hold weight. Um, the other one hates it and like, you treat me like you're my father, bitch, because I said text me within an hour. Don't take two hours or I will get mad. Like, if I say be home at a certain time, like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm letting you hang out with your friends. Like, but, okay, whatever. Um, I have relationship rules, so, and some don't like that shit. Um, Ella says favorite toys to play with. You mean as an impact play, or are you talking about non-sexual, or are you talking about sexual? You gotta, you gotta define that one for me. Um, Xbox or PlayStation or PC? It's about games. I'm guessing you're talking about games. I used to be a big PC gamer. Um, I used to play, not World of Warcraft. 
because I'm old, remember? I am 40. I know it's crazy to understand that. I used to play EverQuest. EverQuest 1, EverQuest 2, um, Guild Wars 2. I played that for a couple of years. There was no end game. I got bored of it. Um, so I would say for games, MMORPGs, yes, computer. I used to be big computer player, but I love the PlayStation. I do, so. Skittle and Levy says, oh, shucks. Uh, she says, I like Missionary, too. It feels more intimate. Yeah, that's basically what I'm getting at. And uh, when I'm being suffocated, fuck yeah, right? Um, Ella says, perfect response. Yeah, exactly. Um, Skittle and Levy. Uh, that wasn't supposed to sound sarcastic. No, you're fine. Um, Earthly Mama, perfect response. Is this a response for me? Or, wait, is this all? Okay. Ella, what are your rules? Both kinds of toys, adult and a child. Wait, we talking sexually here? Rules, like my relationship rules? You want to you hear that? Ask that specifically. Don't ask me two questions at the same time. You're going to blow my mind here. So if you're going to ask me a question, please be defining the question. Don't ask me what's your favorite movie. Say what's your favorite scary movie or what's your favorite rock band, not what's your favorite music. You know, you have to define it. My Something about my brain will explode because, I don't know. Evercrack, yes, that's what we called it. Like, I spent, I would wake up playing, I would go to work, I'd come home, play it before I went to sleep. So 16 hours, I think I used to play a day or something, 12 or 16 hours a day for years. But th that was the time I really wasn't in a relationship with nobody. Um, I did do that a little bit when I was in a relationship, so I had to quit it. So I did quit because of the relationship. Not because she told me to. I just felt really bad about doing it. I ain't no punk. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do, right? Turtle. Uh, Marvel or uh, – I would say Marvel. I have uh, – oh, man. Probably Marvel. How are you 40? You don't look 40. Tell us your youthful secrets. You want my daddy age? It's 32. Um, EverQuest was amazing. Sure, fuck it was. I used to play uh, Everfrost. I think was it Everfrost? Yeah, Everfrost server. But they merged it like five times. I don't even know what server it is anymore. Ella, sorry. What is your favorite kids' toys? My kids' toys? You talking about just me in general? Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. You're just you're so being brought on the question. Favorite kids toys for myself or to play with, with as well as your favorite sex toys with myself. Ella, come on. You got it. You got to define the question. I'm telling you both questions are intriguing. It would be if you, if you define like favorite kids toys to play with myself or with a little like that's, I mean, I like RC cars and I like guns, but that's not really. I mean, some people think it's toys. Um, uh, DC is where it's at, sorta. I mean, so DC is just basically Batman and Superman and Spider Man. That's really it, right? Unless, unless you. You're, you're a girl, and your favorite your favorite is now um, uh, Harley Quinn. So, anyways, uh, Marvel has been pretty strong on. Uh, I can name like this many characters. So, um, yeah, I like both too. It's just joking. Okay, well that's fine. Come on, Ellie, you could do this. Define your question. My favorite kids' toys, just in general. Man, um, I don't know. I like BB guns. Ellis says, I'm trying. Okay, what do you, what would, wait, what you would, you, oh my God. 
what would you specifically seek out to play with for yourself and then with a little myself my god i don't think i have any toys i play with anymore I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm failing on that question. That one is tough for me. Maybe if like others were here, they could say it for me because I'm not too sure. Um, and with a little, oh well, that. I mean, with stuffed animals, that'd be that'd be number one. I like to play with stuffed animals. I like to pet them and talk to them and stuff. Yeah, I used to have like a king size. I used to have. I think it was a California king. And I had it against the wall, so it would be like in a corner. And I used to have all the babies lined up on, on in the corner on the edge of the bed. And I would pet their little heads and stuff. And But that was a few years back. I don't have that bed anymore. And it's not against the floor or the wall, so they can't hang out. They would just fall off playing and stuff. And I get sad. So... Board games or cars, computer games or board games. You have a short attention span, so just don't see Monopoly being your thing. A uh, short attention span. That's probably a true statement. It probably is. Um, board games are all right. It's not my go-to. I used to play dominoes. Uh, we used to play uh, Prison Spade and uh, Dominoes a lot, like back in the days, like seven years ago. Like we used to like every weekend, uh, my family and friends would come over, have a big table, and play Dominoes and Spades. I kind of miss those days. I do. Um, Ella says that's sad. You need. Toys to play with. Now tell me your favorite sex toys to use and have you used on you. Okay, I'm pretty open about myself, but this goes all over YouTube and I, I get more than just 10 views, okay? So I'm not going to say what I do. Let's just say there's nothing I haven't done. So there you go. Um, Sex toys to use. Sex toys. I don't. I don't really use. I don't. That's that's a that's a thing that I never really got into. Not that I'm not into it. I just never really. I don't know. Maybe maybe I don't. I never really got into sex toys because I feel personally I'm damn good with my hands, mouth, and my dick. So I don't know. Like. I don't really use sex toys. I I got to play with a wand, and that was okay, but I feel in a way that if I'm not doing it, it it's just not right, I guess, in a way, you know, like, yeah, so, you know, the, 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 the wand, you know. The Big Daddy. It was uh, wireless too. Yeah, wireless. Oh, I got to play with that one thing. What is it called? The egg, or, like you stick it in you, and it was like a little, like a little attachment, and I got to play with the vibration on my phone or something. I got to play with that. It was okay at first, but the phone kept disconnecting the Bluetooth, and I was it was pissing me off. Okay, you have said you've been with four littles. Which was your favorite one and why? Oh, well. Yeah, the wee vibe, that's it. Thank you, Tater Tot. Um, my favorite I've thought about, I've actually had a video talking about this, but that's okay. We're here to talk. I don't mind repeating myself. Um, the four littles, that, which one of my favorite? Probably be the middle, the little. The uh, 9 to 12 would be probably the best. Um, because they they can play by themselves, you know, like they don't always like they need. OK, <clears throat> they prefer you to be around, but you don't have to like they're happy just playing by themselves. But you have to be in the same room kind of a thing, you know, like like my cat. 
Like my cat has to follow me in the shitter. Okay, that's a little, unfortunately. They have to follow you in the kitchen. You know, if you're in the living room, they, they lay down next to you. I'm okay, because they can play by themselves as long as they're around me. Um, they need a little attention, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but it's not constant like a baby girl would, um, like a three to five or something. They just, they are so needy, and they have to always need reassurance and um, just words and attention and they're very needy they are uh, the brat was my worst least favorite so I would say the little would be cool yeah um, Amber says toys just add fun to sex regardless how good the, the guy is So you're telling me, if I would rather play toys with myself than you, it's 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 regardless better. How would you feel about that? Um, it's it's okay. I mean, that's what girls are used to when they're single is toys. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, it feels good. It's awesome. You know, I, I wouldn't mind using you know like a attachment on myself during penetration or something but whatever okay awkward silence All right, so um, yeah, that's, uh, that's something that I, I don't know. I just I never really um, just never really got into using toys on my spouse. I would rather her use that shit when I'm not around. You know, I just I don't know. You can have fun with it later. You know, this is my time. You know, oh, it must spend an hour now because my my. Uh, Sounds is back on. In that case, if we are done with questions, um, we can go ahead and lock this up. What about toys you made? Oh, I've made toys, but not like sexually toys. Hold on. I gotta type something. Okay, so toys I made, they're not, they're not something you stick in a vagina or I haven't made anything for nipples yet, which I probably should, but I made some spanker toys. Maybe next time I'll show you guys. That'd be fun, huh? Showing you guys all my toys. If I, I can find them, I don't even know where they are anymore. They haven't been used or collecting dust. Sad. I don't, Amber, I don't think any of that I would feel weird about. I mean, nipple clamps are um, uh, stimulation fun, um, anal plug or butt plugs. I mean, I wouldn't feel weird about it. I think they're kind of, they're kind of cute in uh, pictures. Hello, Nicole. Yeah, I can do, I can do a show until next week. I'd be okay. Skiddly Lee, she says, I don't know. I was never really in adult toys. See, I really never have been either. I'd rather have human interaction. That's how I feel. There's something about physical touch from someone that attract, uh, is attractive and stimulating the body. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I don't know. I, I would rather personally do it myself. But if you want to play with toys like when I'm not there, you know, you got to ask daddy. And I'll probably say yes, but you got to do it over the phone. At least once. We good? 
I'm glad Skiddly Deedly and um, Ella, those two joined. Wasn't expecting that. That's awesome. Uh, I, I got more turnout than I expected last week. Um, it was so just on a fly last week. I'll make sure next Tuesday, because um, Wednesdays, uh, my well, I mean, I have a roommate, but I don't have a roommate. So the reason why I was going to do it Wednesday is because he worked Wednesday, and now they switched him to uh, Tuesday and not work Wednesday. Wait, does he work Wednesday? I can't remember. In, in either way. Um, he's going to be here, and he's annoying in ways, and he plays music, and I can't do that while I'm live, and, um, you know, so I figure I'm by myself. I have no no annoyance or anything, so that's why I'm doing it on Tuesdays, if you was wondering why I'm not on Wednesday, because that had to change. Um, the Wartenberg wheel. I will uh, skittle D. I, I always missed your live stream by a few minutes. I finally caught one. Well, I actually uh, put it out today for uh, I. What did I put out for two hours exactly before time? I think so. I think I. I think I set it for four p.m. Central, so you you know all my fans would have a few hours instead of just like on the whim. I just went live out of nowhere, so that's a little different story. And hopefully um, next Tuesday as well, if I don't have plans, if everything, you know, if I'm just by myself, I'll try to make this a, a uh, thing. And this will get better in time, you know, once I'm more comfortable talking and once, you know, you guys have more questions and, and I remember the questions, uh, you know, people ask me throughout the week. And I'm like, damn, when I'm on live, I'm like this, I'm like, what was the question again? I don't remember. So that's kind of the problem. I'm just, you know, getting used to it. You know, I haven't really been face-to-face uh, -face like this uh, live in a while. So I'm still kind of nervous, again, because, you know, it's been like, what, a year, I guess. Uh, can't leak up. Okay. I kind of freaked seeing Ellen's skittle D. Yeah, fangirling. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? I'm stoked too of them both here. Actually, there's a couple other ones um, I'm cool with. Um, I don't. I know there's one of them. I don't even know if she even posts anymore. Here, I'll tell you the names that I'm real cool with. Um, but Skiddly was the first one I was cool with. I'm looking through my subscriptions here. What was her name? I can't remember her name. Well, yeah, Cotton Candy Princess. I don't. I mean, she she's real cool with me. I've talked to her offline before. Little Moo Moo talked to her offline. Little you know before. Um. Yeah, pretty much those four. Two of them's here. Two of them's not. So. Um. If uh, if you girls haven't heard Bake for Jay, you should check him out. He's kind of hot. Um, I have to give him that. He's a, he's a. He's a prick in ways like, you know, like he's aggressive and I'm like more chill. But if you like an aggressive daddy, go listen, go watch Bake for Jay. Just to get like a different kind of a feel for two different kinds of daddies, I would imagine, you know. There's this other guy that's weird. Like he's weird, but I would imagine if I was like a sub, I would think it's like hot, but I don't think he's hot. Um, his name's uh, Mr. His Beard. He's weird. He like does it so differently. I'd like really condone like how he does his videos. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Someone's saying something. Hold on. Um, spilt my juice. That sucks. Uh, Woofy, same. I love all three of you guys. Yep. Thanks for the subscribe. Yep. Um, Nicole says, sometimes I get the feeling you're kind of INTJ personality type. You have the ability to publicly speak. I think, I don't know. I've done that test once and it does look, that does look familiar. Is there a such thing as an ENTJ, I think? I don't know. I've done that test one time and it was too confusing. So you're telling me I have to learn BDSM and all the, the, the literal states, like, you know, 
ABBAs and, and DDs and LGs and M, MDs and DDs. And I have to remember all that shit. Then I have to remember asexual, pansexual, sexual, sexual, heber, what was the other one? Sort of hebedonist. I'm like, I can't remember all this. And then you want me to remember personality types? My brain's going to explode, people. Oh, my God. Okay, so everybody's talking to each other here. Thanks. Ha, ha, ha. Well, for your welcome. Blah, blah, blah. Dante is why is that? Why is what? I'm so confused. Um, your YouTube channel is going to be uh, up next year. Watch out, peeps. Oh, yours is? Cool. Um, Wolfie, I'm making a regression channel mostly to make cute videos. Uh-huh. Uh, Savage, I talk to little Moo Moo all the time. We're like besties. Well, why ain't she here? Because if I'm right, we used to bullshit on uh, Snapchat. Or, oh, no, maybe it was Instagram. Yeah, it might have been Instagram. I don't remember. But I never told them. I never told any of them that I'm doing live. If they want to see me, they want to see me. I'm not. I'm not going to say, hey, let me let me get like one of the big uh, YouTuber littles up here so I can get, you know, a little fandom. I'm not going to do that. But they want to show up. Cool. Um, <laughs> add me on Snap. Don't have Snap. I have Instagram. Me too. There you go. It's like a little loving family I got going over here. It's just, you know, add me to Snap. Add me to... I mean, uh, Instagram, you know, that's cool. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm doing some uh, options here. Okay, whatever. You know, I wouldn't mind if um, Ella or Skiddly Lee wants to um, come in and she would be sitting right here talking with me. Right here. If she ever wanted to join my uh, live hangouts, that would be fun, huh? You know it would. Okay, well, everybody's talking to each other. I guess I'll... Uh, I'll go ahead and Snapchat this. So everybody say hi. You're, you're in uh, you're my Snapchat story. Too bad. Too late. Can't say hi anymore. And there you go. Yeah, head explosion. I'm telling you. Look. I'm, I'm, I'm hiding my face. Yeah. All right, so we wrapping this up for today. Is that what we're doing? Where did my pick go? Have you seen my guitar pick anywhere? What the hell? Kenny, did you take it? Oh well. You have an issue with people disliking your videos a lot? No, I don't care. I uploaded a couple of DDO videos, but a few days later they were all disliked. I was wondering if you had similar. Yeah, because people think it's disgusting. You know, I get the most weird, weirdest um, comments. You know, people call, well, since I'm a male and I'm 40 years old and I'm talking about age regressors, people automatically assume I'm a pedophile. So, yeah, I get, 
I get it like a lot. Yeah. I don't know where my pick went. Like, it is nowhere to be found. Look at that chubby belly! Um, like, I had it. I just don't know where it went to. Like, it is completely gone, people. It's gone. Couldn't tell you. Don't know. It's like, literally. <laughs> Don't know. Just disappeared. That's what I hate about guitar picks, you know? They just, they just. Oh, there it is. So. All right. So, what was the question? You want me to play the Hurt again? Oh, in the Johnny Cash version? Okay. Number one, kids. Johnny Cash didn't write the song, Nine Inch Nails did. Nine Inch Nails. He wrote the song. He created the song. I think uh, like 94 or something. Johnny Cash, before he died, did all the song covers he loved, which that was his last album. And um, But I can do the Johnny Cash version, which I think is funny because I'm doing a cover of a cover. That's what I like to do. So, yeah. I'll I'll leave off where I all right leave off where I I'll leave off where I left off I think right <laughs> You want me to do the Johnny Cash version? Uh, I heard my uh. Oh yeah Yeah, Sharon Risner. I heard myself today to see if I still feel focus on the pain. The only thing that's real. Needle tears a hole. The old familiar stain. Try to kill it all away, but I remember everything. Wait, how the boys go? <laughs> So sorry, guys. I almost forgot. <laughs> My fire of dirt. <laughs> I will let you down. I will make you hurt. I wear this brown shit. Upon my liar's chair, full of broken thoughts, I cannot repair. Beneath the stains of time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
You are the wrong Close enough. I didn't practice that one. Sorry. It wasn't practiced. Oh, I literally just remembered the chords like at the end and I forgot the lyrics. Because so I was sitting there going, what was the chords? What was the chords? Oh, now I remember the chords. Forgot the lyrics. That was the last part anyway. So, Heard YouTube has been giving creators hard time. Fuck yeah. About littles and daddies from this channel. Wish I had more on the internet. Well, YouTube has basically cut me off on making any money, but that's fine. I don't care. Give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, YouTube. Don't need your five bucks, bro. Uh, but what you can do to support your favorite... Um... Oh, YouTuber. You can donate money. You can. I'm not... Oh, excuse me. I'm not asking for money, but that's pretty much the only way you can help your youtubers now but i don't need your money so just need your kisses so but uh yeah we don't make any money anymore it's over with so um yeah um i internally screaming when he played that version of logan trailer oh yeah yeah okay yeah because that was on the on the, the trailer um nicole johnson i'm more of a middle but i have learned a ton from him and other channels Awesome. Uh, thank you, Impacted. Uh, Nicole, John, I'm not sure Impacted where I fit. Still trying to figure it out. Love my little time, but still feel the desire to serve a man. Kind of strange combo. No, it's not. You can age regress or not. You can serve your man, but just be submissive. And I don't mean just sexually. And I hate explaining this to people, especially basic people. When I say submit, you're not really submitting in just a, a trifle sexually. It's not only in the bedroom. I mean, because I like having sex on the couch. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, even in the car, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, Christine, my daughter and I love Johnny Cash. Can't believe I actually caught you live for once. Awesome. Um, Savage, oh my God, I love it. Sorry, I messed up at the end. I'm um, impacted. At least you could play chords. It was nice. Yeah, Patreon, I'm not going to do it. Um, I won't ever do a GoFundMe. Well, if, if I ever do a GoFundMe, it's because I wrecked my motorcycle. I had it on camera, and you know damn well it wasn't my fault. Maybe. Other than that, probably not. Patreon, yes. Um, I'm still kind of not wanting to do that. So that's fine. Um, that or buy merch. I cried at the end of Logan. I cried at the end of it because the movie sucked. Sorry. I hope, I hope it's over with and they can bring my favorite character to X-Men and make that movie. Oh, who who is your favorite X-Man? Well, he's not really an X-Man. He's kind of like Deadpool. So were you kids over there going, I love Deadpool uh, when the movie came out? That's cute. Um, but I've always liked Gambit, and Gambit was also like Deadpool as a hitman. Um, he was more on the good side than the bad side. Um, and Gambit, from the beginning, not the movies, because the movies were incorrect about some things, um, but Gambit was actually a daddy dominant, my opinion, because I think it's funny. So he was an older gentleman, and he uh, he found Rogue, not like the movies. The movies, Logan found Rogue. Sorry, incorrect. I grew up with comics and cartoons. No, Gambit found her. Anyways, so moral of the story is um, 
yeah, Gambit was a daddy dom to Rogue, and uh, he loved her, and um, yeah, he tried to make it her independent and strong and blah, 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 like a daddy would do. Um, now, the Joker, however, he's a sadistic daddy. Sadistic? He's crazy. Let's just say that. And um, yeah, he might be a fucked up individual, but he's still got daddy tendencies, so... There you go. And that's my my two favorite because they're both daddy doms. And one of them's crazy. Why so serious? Um, Deadpool's my kink. Okay. That's, that's cool. What is Logan? <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, really? Oh. Your dream daddies, yeah, okay. You know who else was a daddy? Bumblebee from Transformers. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh man, I I, I liked. Uh, I don't know. I, I like I like villains. I guess more. I guess I don't know. That's cool. I like Iron Man. I always liked Iron Man, and and, and also I like the actor. Um, I liked him when he was a kid too. He was in movies because I'm old, so I remember him when he was like a teenager. Robert Downey Jr. I remember when his dad was alive. He used to have a talk show. It was a political talk show, but I remember. I remember the show. Yeah. Boom. So um, yeah. So are we done here? Are we wrapping this up? I'm not bored. I'm just saying. Well, we could talk a side chat. I mean, you know, I have nothing else to say at this moment. I'm going to have to get my P's and Q's. And what is a Q, anyways? I don't know. I have to get that going. And I can remember, like, at these times, I can remember these damn questions people ask me constantly. Yeah, heroes, they don't, uh, I mean, Spider-Man gave a little, didn't he? Like some kisses, I think. Superman couldn't have sex. He would, he would knock that shit into, uh, the planet. You know what I'm saying? And Batman, he has too many emotional issues. He's still attached to Catwoman. Um, so yeah, I can see how heroes wouldn't be good sexual partners. You like all jokers? You like you like uh, little ICP jokers too? So, any more questions, or I'm just going to show my cat? Kitty, you want to go on live video? Okay. Come on, Mr. Camera. All right, go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, kitty. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, can you speak? Yeah. <laughs>
He speak. Meow. Hey. Yeah. You hungry? Yeah. Well, I said if you didn't have nothing else to say, I was going to show you my cat. All right. So not being weird, I guess. That's me. Me being weird. Right, now I can show you my cat. Sort of. There we go. There you go, the kitty. Is that it, people? Am I going offline? Okay, everyone's talking to side chat, having friendly moments. Um, thank you for coming. And uh, you guys can stay in the side chat. It ain't going to go nowhere. You're fine. Um, next time, if any of you want to... Um, you think you think some of you shy girls would want to join the live and ask me questions? A one on one talky talk. Yeah, that'd be different, huh? Um, I was talking about getting my nephew on here so you'd have two daddy perspectives. That'd be cool, huh? You can ask him all these questions. Wouldn't that be cool? He said he would love to, but he's a busy man. So I can ask him, see what he's doing next Tuesday. No, no, Christine, probably Tuesday. Um, when, uh, I'm I'm actually thinking about going with uh, with Tater Tot back to the community, the BDSM community. Oh, I blocked the kitty cat. Um, so so probably Tuesday, and I'll I'll ask uh, my nephew. You're gonna love him. You're gonna be like he's the cutest thing in the world. He's cute. I have to give him that. So um, maybe you could have like a two daddy perspective. I guess maybe as so get your questions marked down, write them out, get your, get your crayons and your papers and, and um, write some um, questions down. And uh, yeah, and then you can ask him a shitload of questions like and laugh about it while he stumbles. It'd be hilarious, you know? So yeah, two days at once. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. So. Uh, get your questions going and we'll uh, do that. Hopefully, I'll text him right now and tell them that all you girls want to hear his side of the story. Like, um, how, like, you know, why did he want to be it? Why did he want to be a daddy? You know, uh, learning from his first experience, little, which she's a brat. So that'd be, <laughs> that'd be fun. Um, you know, or I'll just ask him the questions if you, if you girls just want to just sit there and drool instead. Because I know how littles are. You're all shy. So. All right. Until then, you guys can keep talking over here. The side comment. Um, yeah. Thanks for uh, showing up and uh, talking and being friendly and loving me and, and doing what you do. You know. I don't know if I'm going to post a video soon. Um, probably just do the live for right now and uh, go from there. Um, if you haven't seen my other channel, um, I'll post it right here if you don't know it. We'll type it over here. That is my other YouTube channel. And um, I haven't posted in a while. Don't know if I will be posting in a while. Don't know. But I'm trying to post more on here since I'm more loved on this channel than my other one. So, all right. Love you. Bye. Kitty says bye. Okay, he's back to sleep. <laughs>